I am Anil Kumar and in this video I am going to compile all the tools which you need for writing exact values for any given trigonometric expression. So let's begin with our special triangles and these are uh, pi by 4 or you can say 45 degrees uh, triangle or it is 30, 60, 90 or you can say uh, pi by 3, pi by 6 triangle. So let us consider this as a 45 degree triangle first in that we know that the sides are 1, 1 and the hypotenuse square 2. But if I have a 60, 30 triangle with 90 degrees, these are like this, correct? And that is 30 degrees. Then the sides are 1, 2 and square root of 3. So these are very special triangles which we can always use. At times, we prefer to use these values. So let me make another set of these triangles. Now, what I will do here is I'll write radians instead of degrees so that it becomes kind of versatile. 45 degrees could be written as pi by 4, right? And instead of 1, 1 square root 2, at times we also use square root 2, square root 2 and 2. That is, multiply each side by square root 2, right? And here I will use pi by 3 as 60, pi by 6 as 30 degrees, and we'll maintain this as 1, 2, square root 3 for the time being. So when we are talking about exact values, these special triangles 45, 45, 90, and 30, 60, 90 are extremely helpful. Other things which you need is a sine wave, which helps us to figure out what is the exact values for zeros and what maximum and minimum so in a sine function we get maximum value of 1 for 90 then 0 at 0 180 and 360 all are in degrees correct and minus 1 as 270 degrees right that is for sine function on the other hand, in case of cosine function, which starts with a maximum, we have 1 at uh, 0, 1 at 2 pi or I should say 360 degrees, minus 1, minus 1 at uh, 180 degrees. Is it okay? Zero is at 90 and 270. Fine. So these are kind of, I wrote very small. Okay, anyway, that gives you a fairly good idea of exact values of some of our trigonometric ratios, the basic trigonometric ratios, which are going to help us to find all the exact values. Correct. Now, one caution is, if I start with a simple value, let us say, what is cos of 45 degrees? then you will go to this triangle and say well cos of 45 degrees is 1 over square root 2 that is your exact value for cos of 45 degrees but remember one thing that when we are talking about exact values you should not be writing square root or any radical in the denominator if you get one like you got this time you have to rationalize it Rationalize means in this case we'll multiply and divide by square root 2 and then you get your answer as square root 2 over 2. So really speaking exact value for cos of 45 degrees should be written as square root 2 over 2. Correct? And that is the reason why I have the second triangle. You could have read the value from the second triangle straight away. Cos of 45 square root 2 over 2. You don't have to do rationalization. I hope you got the concept. So that's a killer. So whenever you are writing 45 degrees or let us say pi by 4, in, let's say sine pi by 4, let me use radians also. In that case, better to use this triangle. We will write square root 2 over 2. We do not have to rationalize it. Okay. That's one tip which should be used. Right. Now, let's go further into a few more examples. This time we'll take square root 3 into consideration. So we say, well, what happens if I add the two trigonometric ratios? Let us say 
let's say tan let's go with the primary trigonometric ratios tan of pi by 6 plus we have uh, okay we have tan let's write let's say cos of pi by 4 now when I say tan pi by 6 it means 30 degrees okay 30 degrees so those of you who are working in degrees for pi let's write down pi equals to 180 degrees okay so 180 divided by 6 is 30 degrees okay and let me write similar expression here so that there is no confusion so what I'm trying to do is I'm writing tan of 30 degrees okay plus cos of 45 degrees can you evaluate this and give me the exact value well the exact value for tan of 30 degrees let me write here read from here 1 over square root 3 so we have 1 over square root 3 plus cos of this you could use this triangle or the other one right so let me make things complicated use this one so we say 1 over square root 2 now you need to add them up so common denominator is multiplying these two square root 6 and then you get square root 2 plus square root 3 as I said you need to rationalize that means got to multiply this by square root 6 over square root 6 now that gives you what square root 6 times square root 6 is the number 6 here you will multiply square root 6 by 2 we get square root 12 plus square root 6 by 3 we get square root 18 right let me simplify them further square root 12 is 4 times 3 so I could write this as 2 square root 3 and that could be written as 9 times 2 so that means 3 square root 2 okay divided by 6 so it simplifies to this particular expression so at times when we are working with combination of these you may land up into situations where it could be a combination of radicals you need to simplify them that that's what I'm going to specify here okay now let us take some more examples and this time what we will do is we'll get into more complicated case and let me take a case like uh, like cos of uh, 30 degrees plus sine of 30 degrees divided by tan of 30 degrees plus tan of 60 degrees in that case what happens when I say is cos of 30 degrees then 30 degrees cos is square root 3 over 2 read the values from your special triangles okay square root 3 over 2 sine of 30 means opposite over hypotenuse plus half divided by tan of 30 degrees tan is 1 over square root 3 good 60 degrees it is square root 3 over 1 so we have square root 3 you can write 1 here now we get this kind of complicated fraction you need to simplify it okay let's do it so we have a common denominator of 2 here we get 2 times square root 3 plus 2 divided by here we get 1 time 1 plus square root 3 times square root 3 is 3 divided by square root 3 now that gives us in the numerator we have 2 square root 3 plus 2 and this denominator is right there times dividing by this means multiplying by square root 3 over 1 plus 3 is 4 correct now we can simplify it now you could have simplified dividing both by 2 you get here square root 3 plus 1 right times square root 3 over 4 which you can further multiply and then square root 3 times square root 3 is 3 plus square root 3 times 1 is square root 3 divided by 4 so at times you may land up in doing all these calculations even for simple combination of sines and cosines but that is required and is expected right so that is kind of introduction to you for 
finding exact values of trigonometric expressions. Now I have got a lot of videos on this topic where we will be doing some similar kind of work and also in the next phase we will see how to find exact values for angles which could be found with combination for example what is sine of uh, uh, let's say 15 degrees right so which we could find with combination or if you're working in radians what is sine of uh, pi by 8 for example correct so i would like you to explore more on exact values and get used to it since that is going to help you a lot while working with trigonometric expressions and equations i hope that helps Thank you and all the best.